Hey guys, in this video, I will be explaining the steps that I take to sketch and color an eye and just some extra tips and tricks. So the first thing that we're going to want to start off with is the right brush. I'm going to use three brushes for this whole process. If you're interested in knowing what brushes I use, you can find them linked below. But for the most part, you just need a brush that has a tapered end, a good blending brush, and just like a normal sketch brush. Okay, starting off, I just draw a really light circle and I use the top of the circle as a guide line. Don't worry about this part being super clean and perfect. We're just basically getting the main eye shape drawn out so that we can later go in and really clean it up. So I always draw each section in the same order starting with the top of the eye and then the waterline the lashes, and then lastly, the iris. When drawing lashes, make sure that the direction of the lashes are fanning outward and curving out instead of just straight lines. So a quick tip in the settings that I wanted to share with you is having to do with pressure sensitivity. So if you hit the wrench, go to uh, pressure and smoothing, you'll see this uh, graph here. And the default one is just like a straight line, but I've tweaked mine to where it just feels more comfortable to draw with. It makes my hands less tired. So. I mean, give it a try. If it doesn't work, then you can always just reset it back to how it was, but I think it was such a game changer for me. Okay, here I'm showing another tip for the lashes, and really what you're doing is just flicking your wrist. Make sure that you're kind of playing with the, the heaviness of your the pressure that you put on the pencil. So you just put like a heavy hand and then a light hand and just flick your wrist. Flick it the wrist. So now it's time to redefine the sketch. I lowered the opacity of the original layer and I started drawing on top of it on a fresh layer. And here I'm still showing the importance of learning how to control the pressure that you're applying. So the next thing that I use is liquify. It's such a time saver when you feel like your drawing's looking a little funny. Instead of going in and erasing it or starting over, you can always just adjust it in the way that you think it'll look better. It's also really important to flip your canvas so you can see it in a different point of view. Okay, so next I'm gonna lighten the sketch and I'm gonna take a blending brush and smooth the, the drawing all around and I'm not going to smooth out every single inch of this drawing. I'm only going to smooth out certain spots and still leave some of the hard edges. I usually do this throughout my entire sketch with anything that I'm drawing just so that it looks like super buttery and smooth. So on a new layer under the sketch, 
I start to apply the skin color first. And then I apply the whites of the eyes. I do everything in separate layers at first until I'm ready to merge them all together. So a tip with the whites of the eyes, it's never actually gonna be white. It, it's gonna look unfinished and just crazy. I never do that with any of my drawings. As you can see, I do go for more like gray toned purple and blues. I think it just looks a little less crazy. So next is eye color. I'm kind of just choosing a random color here. So with a blending brush, I'm going to add some shading around the eye just to give it some more depth and with an eraser, I'm going to take off some of that shadow where the fold of the eye is just to give it some more dimension and really make it look like there's um, an eyelid there. Alright, now I'm going to go in and darken some of the parts of the eyes like the lashes and the line of the eye So the next thing that I like to add is Bounce Light. Bounce Light is just going to be reflecting off of your environment. So here it'd probably be like the ocean or the sky. Um, here you'll see what I mean by that. So here the blue is coming from the color of the sky reflecting onto a surface therefore bouncing onto what you're drawing. And it's different with every scenario. I can go into like an even more explained video, but it really does make a huge difference in your drawing. So onto shading, I make a new layer on top of the drawing. I set it to linear burn and I usually lower the opacity so it's not so harsh or you can just mess with um, the pressure that you're applying with the brush and I start to apply the shading wherever it's needed.
So on this part, I usually add some complementary colors. I do this as a style choice. This isn't something that needs to be done when drawing an eye. But for my style, I do like to add some colors that stand out on top of the pink or whatever eye color I'm doing so that they're more pretty to look at. And then after that, which is my favorite part, it's highlights. So you can add highlights wherever you want in whatever style that pleases you. I've been kind of trying to mess around with um, different styles and different placements. There are plenty of shapes that you can add to an eye. You can add more of like a just randomized shaped a highlight onto the eye or if you prefer to go in with just like a circle which a lot of people do or if you want to go more on the realistic side and use uh, squares and rectangles and stuff then you can also do that but lately I've been just trying to do like the little squigglies So here I just give everything a final blend on parts that I don't want to look so harsh. And then I added some subsurface scattering onto the eye. So at the end here, I'm just adding just some final touches, just tiny little details to really make the drawing look finished. But yeah, that is pretty much it, you guys. I'm all done with this drawing, and I really hope that you learned something. I hope I explained things in a way that you could understand. So yeah, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!